Today on Running to Him. While we as Christians can plan for tomorrow, we are not to rely on those plans for our existence. Now, if you're joining us in going through Proverbs, today's reading is Proverbs chapter 27, verses 1 through 11, and we will concentrate on verse 1. Proverbs 27, 1 says this, Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring forth. On August 25th, 1856, Charles Spurgeon preached a sermon at Maberly Chapel in England about this passage in Proverbs. In that sermon, he said this, We need not boast of tomorrow, for it is one of the frailest things in all creation, and therefore the least to be boasted of. Boast of the bubbles on the breaker, the boast of the foam in the sea, boast of the clouds that skim the sky. Boast of what thou wilt, O man, but boast not of tomorrow, for it is too unsubstantial. Tomorrow is a fleeting thing. Thou hast not seen it. Why dost thou boast of it? Tomorrow is a cup which the idiot dreams lies at the floor of the rainbow. It is not there, nor hath he found it. Now we as humans sometimes spend a significant amount of time on the what-ifs rather than the what-ars. We dream of things coming tomorrow rather than recognizing God's grace being shown today. Of course, we all remember the saying, don't count your chickens before they're hatched. Anything could happen between the laying of the egg and the hatching of the chicken. In 1977, a play opened at the Alvin Theater in New York City. The play was entitled Annie, and it told the story of a little girl who ends up in an orphanage, escapes, and eventually ends up at Daddy Warbuck's mansion. The song which garnered the most attention was titled Tomorrow, and here's part of the song. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Just thinking about tomorrow clears away the cobwebs and the sorrow, till there's none. When I'm stuck with a day that is gray and lonely, I just stick out my tongue and grin and say, oh, the sun will come out tomorrow, so you got to hang on till tomorrow. Come what may, tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you tomorrow, you're always a day away. Now, while there is truth to that song, the sun will come out tomorrow, we may not be part of that process. We cannot count on things which are out of our control. We can't control how long we live or what our lives will be like if we do live. So there is virtually no value in that speculation. Jesus told the parable of a rich farmer in Luke 12, verses 13 through 21. His crop yielded a great harvest, and he began to dream of tomorrow. Unfortunately for him, he died before tomorrow came. He counted on something that he could not control. Now, is it wrong to make plans? Absolutely not. We are not to place our hope on tomorrow. We can only trust that God has our future, and if he allows our plans to come to fruition, so be it. But if not, we can rest on the fact that he has us in his hands. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.